It is time once again for the Morning Mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast. If you are new to the podcast, there is a way right here in the description underneath whatever way you're listening to this for you to subscribe to the Live, Build, Change podcast where you will get notifications right in Facebook Messenger when every episode comes out in the morning so you'll never miss an episode. Take advantage of that. Live, Build, Change is about helping you live your faith in an authentic, genuine way, build a business, and change your world by combining those first two. And these morning mindsets are aimed mainly at that first portion, the living of your faith, because we have to start every day with a heart full of faith, with a mind that is is grasping the truth of God in a way that really can make a difference in our life. And we've been doing that most recently by looking at the life of Moses with an eye towards seeing how he related with God and how he responded to God, both in his mistakes and in his successes. And so we're to the portion of Scripture in Exodus chapter 4, where Moses is finally on his way back to Egypt to do this unbelievable task that God has put before him as an 80-year-old man to go and lead the people of Israel, over two million of them, out of slavery, in which they were enslaved to the greatest political power in the world at the time, the the nation of Egypt and its leader, Pharaoh. So Moses goes back and God has just said to him what we got into on yesterday's edition of the podcast. God says, go back to the Egypt, go back to Egypt. Man, if I could talk, it'd be great. Go back to Egypt and see that you do before Pharaoh all the miracles that I have put in your power but I will harden his heart so that he will not let the people go. Now, I introduced to you yesterday this idea, this idea that I think we have to get our brains around. We have to create sometimes a new category in our minds that hasn't been there before in order to grasp the truth as God reveals it. And that category goes something like this. Though we as human beings are created in a way that we do have freedom, we do have the ability to choose, God as our creator has both the right and the ability to overarch our choices at any given time. In fact, he not only overarches our choices and can thwart them, he actually can move us to make certain choices, which is what we're seeing here in what he does with Pharaoh. He says, I will harden his heart so that small consequence, small result, short-term result, he will not let the people go. So God is not allowing Pharaoh to choose anything else, at least at the beginning. He will not allow him to let the people go. He's going to harden Pharaoh's heart. And I don't know how that strikes you as you hear that. That God would cause a person, and truly he's causing it, God is hardening his heart, that God would cause a person to do a sinful thing. Because later in the book of Exodus, we're going to read that Moses says to Pharaoh, you have sinned against the Lord by not letting the people go. God has the right and the power to do what he just did in Pharaoh's life, to harden his heart, to cause him to sin. And that in no way causes God to be less God. Tomorrow's episode, I want to give you a little bit of an illustration that has been very helpful to me in understanding concepts like this. And I think it's essential that we understand it because seeing God as he really is, is the most important mindset we can have. It will inform how we live in every day and guide us to walk according to truth. If we don't walk according to truth, we're walking according to error, to craziness, to insanity. And so let's talk about that story on tomorrow's Morning Mindset.